Good afternoon, folks. Joey Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we're touring our International Housing Concepts Model C. This particular home is 399 square feet of interior living space. It does have an upstairs loft and an eight foot rear porch. I get that question a lot where if you were to add a porch to the home, is it actually gonna shorten up the interior square footage, which it does not. So it's 35 feet long plus the eight foot porch. We're at 43 feet long. Uh, so this house comes standard with a lot of big features included in the standard features, one being granite countertops, tankless on-demand hot water tank, which you see out here on the outside. So that is propane. It is not electric. Ream is the manufacturer of those tankless hot water tanks. It also comes standard with a ductless mini split system. So you might be able to see it, you might not, but the way we do it, we have to have a conduit on the outside of the house. And so we paint it to match the house. So it is almost disguised, but that is where the mini split location is. But most of the time we put a, a Pentagon window up there and we'll put the, the mini split on the sidewall. This particular customer wanted that mini split up in the center. That way it blows all the cool air down through the park model instead of sideways blowing towards the sidewall, which makes sense. Coming inside, this model's got a lot of really nice windows standard in the unit. So I'm gonna step back a little bit so you can kind of get a whole picture here. This side is where you're gonna put your couch, recliner. You got the whole front wall here full of glass as well. Mini split up above. Your entertainment center is gonna be on this wall here. Put a small entertainment center below. Hang the TV up five feet up off the ground. You can fit a 55 up there. I would say a 47 is really gonna be the best, best size for this living room space. Here in the kitchen, got the granite countertops, undermount sink with the pull down faucet. We also have a 10 inch overhang so you can stick some bar stools underneath here, combine the kitchen and the dining room together. That will make for a big living room space. Stainless steel appliances, gas cooking, um, so we're at 50 amp service, plugs in just like a regular fifth wheel. Cool thing with the mini splits, they don't draw a lot of power, so you can stay at 50 amp and do an electric heating and cooling system. There's your fridge. Get a lot of questions about doing a double door fridge. We could do that with water and ice in the door. Really decent sized pantry right next to it. Did the bar style poles. You got more storage above the fridge coming down the hallway. I like this floor plan because it's got an interesting staircase coming up to the loft. It actually kind of jays off as into a corner. Gives you a little bit bigger landing. They are steep steps. So when you do this corner right here, it gives you a bigger landing to go up the stairs. Give you a shot up here. Enough room for a twin size mattress and a TV. That's really all you need for a storage loft. Good for sleeping, good for storage. Coming through here, you got the stackable washer and dryer location. This is a gas dryer. That way we can keep it at 50 amp. Once you start using electric like that, that's when you need to upgrade to 100 amp service, which a lot of sites don't actually have. Got the seat in the shower, 54 inch walk-in shower. That's kind of a nice feature too. A lot of people ask if you can get the ones with the seats. These ones do come with them. Opening window in the bathroom. Not a lot of floor plans come with them, so it's nice when you have them. You got the cabinet over the commode. Countertop extends over the commode as well. Lots of storage, countertops and, and cabinet space up above. And they're all pocket doors too. That's a huge benefit too, having pocket doors throughout the, throughout the house here. Coming into the bedroom, there's the ductless mini split. We ship it loose because we don't want it to get damaged during transport. So just a local HVAC company can come in and hook up the lines when it gets here. Sliding doors. You can do barn doors or built cabinetry if you wanted to. This customer would like the sliding doors with more hanging space. And you also have a plant shelf up here where you can put some more stuff to store. 
Now we're gonna come off the bedroom end, which you don't see very often, but this actually has a porch off of the rear. And this comes with an eight foot porch, natural wood handrails. Uh, the customer wanted to do that because they like the natural wood for the ceiling as well. So we did that all in cedar. Got the interior can lights or exterior can lights, sorry. Did the crow's feet natural wood as well. Just get some more natural wood tones because this the customer wanted their house a little bit more rustic. This came, came out really nice. What I like is it, it just comes standard with a lot of stuff. It comes standard with the granite counters, the ductless mini split system. This one actually has a dishwasher in it. A lot of people don't necessarily do the dishwashers, but this one does have one in there. I also like the cool cathedral peak here in the living room as well. You could do dormers up there if you wanted to, give you a taller, flatter ceiling and do some transom windows. Um, they just wanted a little bit more architecture on the outside. Good transition to roof line. Anyways, really excited how this house came out. Uh, we've got a couple more on the way. So if you guys have any questions about any of the International Housing Concepts homes, uh, give us a call at 888-222-2699. Once again, Joey Nelson at Park Model Homes, 888-222-2699.